Hey there, folks. Today I'm going to talk about memory. Which I think I am. Yeah, I am. Uh, specifically, mine. Now, on the one hand, I am a super absent-minded person. I am constantly forgetting this, that, and the other in, in my daily life. Classic head-in-the-clouds, absent-minded professor type. Uh, it's uh, kind of a bête noir of mine. On the other hand, in other ways, I have an amazing memory. Sorry about this. Uh, I have an amazing ability to remember things that I've learned that I learned in school when I was a kid that apparently nobody else remembers. I mean, we all learned it, at least well enough to pass the damn test, but I retain it. And I can't help but think that this is somehow connected to the fact that I never found school particularly difficult. I remembered it then, and I remember it now. I remember more of the French that presumably we all learned as Canadian kids than other people. I remember more of the lyrics of popular songs than other people. So, clearly, uh, I have an excellent memory in one sense and a terrible one in the other. Uh, sorry. So, what's the deal with that? Well, I think in one case, the absent-mindedness case, there's a, such a thing as active memory. And that's the memory that tells you what you're supposed to do next, that reminds you you have to do X, Y, and Z, that uh, picks up things from your environment and uses them as cues, Things like that. And mine's terrible. It's, it's riddled with holes. But then there's a more uh, abstract form of memory. Uh, we'll call it informational memory. And mine's quite good. But here's the, the third leg to this problem. I can recall all kinds of stuff that I've learned um, or figured out, but not at random, only when prompted by circumstances. So if you were to just say, you know, tell me what you know about the 19th century, um, I'd be fairly stumped. But if you get me going with just a bit more, then all kinds of stuff will come flowing out. So it seems like my memory is optimized to be able to answer questions uh, rather than just be separate little books that I can just pick up and read out. So So, it's not a bad memory to have. I mean, uh, I'm constantly sort of anxious about forgetting things. But, uh, on the other hand, there's a lot of good information up in this big old noggin of mine. So that's my thoughts on memory and my own. I'd love to know if anyone out there who sees these videos has a similar experience. Or maybe your memory works in a completely different way. I certainly know that, uh, say, my friend Felicity knows so much about movies and who acted in them and played what role. She's like a, she's like a human IMDB. And my roommate... Joe 
knows just enormous amounts about Star Trek and James Bond. I, I, it boggles my mind how much he knows. And history. And literature. So clearly they have a kind of memory that I don't. I guess we're, we're all custom, custom programmed computers. Partly of our own design. Well, that's it for me today, folks. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.